I'm going to tear that rail track southwest and put through my arm. Yeah. Er, uh, C. Hold up. As long as I don't die. Take care, lady. There might not be anyone around next time.
No good piece of dirt. Thank you. How do you do? Mr. Marston, sir, John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, 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 so I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met, but my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> You read my mind. I can only deduce you have been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Um, sir. Sir. I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good sir. Come and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> Uh, um, um. <laughs> 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 
Hard-working souls of uh, Plainview, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, Fraud. twelve... This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take our business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. Somebody get that thing back. Stop that. St. Homer Bonus is not looking down on me favorably. I'd say he's giving you your just desserts. No, probably not. Those inmates were clearly informed of my refund policy. You could only shit on people for so long before they decide it's their turn to pull down the pan. A crude metaphor in every sense of the word, my dear boy. Have you leave the business to me? Do I try to tell you how to rob banks? Robin Banks felt more honest than this. Shot, my boy. Good shot. Hello, <laughs> oh, son. Respect science. Give me my money.
useless morons to worry about! My dear boy, you saved the day again. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Well, yes, uh, perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. And forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. Mr. West Dickens! Ah, Mr. Marston! How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready, then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Barely nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. Uh, you, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Let's go, my dear boy. I'll show you the way. So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered, hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards! I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, uh, before knowledge comes doubt, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, Wes Dickens. I resent that invocation, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. If you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightfully Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Bitchwood Farm, Gap Tooth Creek, Plain View. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I give you my word. There it is, John! Rathskeller Fork!
Hey there. Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his weight or bleed heavily or black out. Get yourselves ready. Set. Go. Come on. He came, he saw, he conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? All right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunco, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? Dear sir, hello. Hello, friend. 
Hello? Excuse me, Mr. D. Back home to the big Howdy. Hello? Hello there. I told him I wasn't buying any land. I found a problem. Hello there. Hey, partner. Hello there. Much obliged. Hello. Yeah. The bottle of the quarter that I ordered from Stalin still hasn't arrived. And how Hi there. Yeah. 